I ended up on any sounds of the sound of work yet, but when I do, boy, howdy, it's going to be funny, because it should come through. Um, let me, maybe I can put a sound more of the way I said if I go here now and see if that works. Wait, that sounded like, that sounded like the Tetris theme. Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, wait, it might be the Tetris theme. <laughs> oh, I am a fan, yes, I am a fan. That's awesome. What is that? It's, it's uh, I think, uh, I think I'm <laughs> No, no, just, just whole it's a show. Thing called, it's a thing called a voice mod. For Discord? Uh, it's it's a separate program, but it, it works like basically everything. Uh, so I was doing a podcast last night and some guy had it. And I found <laughs> that it had like a soundboard too. And I'm like, I've been looking for a soundboard program that actually works with Discord for fucking ever. Oh, shit. So I was like, okay. It's like thirty bucks for a lifetime license. I might as well just go for it. Cause oh, we could be—we could uh, finally be the radio zoo we we're always meant to be. I can finally be famous. Uh, you should have gone for the dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I put background music on this fucking shit. It sounds like dog shit. It uh, does. It is, really what does. Is, what does this one sound like? Buzzy. Oh, I. It's called Genius. I don't know why. Fuck it, we're going. We're going full T pain, y'all. Uh, is this even auto tuned? It doesn't sound like it to me. No, it's just reverbed. That's stupid. Uh, what about? Oh no. Oh man. Hello. Now you sound like ELO. <laughs> uh, what? Let's try Jigsaw from the Saw franchise. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I thought to suck a dick. <laughs> it's only okay, 30 on. bucks. Yeah. I might have to get on. it too. Let me, let, me get the fucking, let me get the fucking show notes ready. I don't even remember what episode this is. I don't know. 373, I guess? Yes. Hold on. Was there an episode I was supposed to edit? I don't even remember. You already edited it. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try this. Could you hear that? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so it does work through Discord. That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't have any like good sound effects. What, or do I? I don't know. Do I have the gunshot sound effect? I don't know. The but important know. question is, can you spam the sound effects? Uh, let's let's upload that one to the soundboard again and see. Nah. Well, it's because I'd have to edit it so it starts instantly. I think there's, like, a very, oh. very small amount of, like, nothing before the sound plays. Okay. But, yeah, I'm now going to have to download a bunch of fucking sound effects. Just farts and gun noises. That's all we need. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, are, are, are you recording? Yeah, I've been recording. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Hey kids, it's me, Kate. I'm trans. Ooh. <laughs> How you been? Okay. <laughs> yeah, is that so? No. <laughs> I've been stressed out. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, just stuff with work. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, I'm the same way. Uh, at least at least COVID's finally over. Yeah, it's finally election. over finally over and we don't have to worry anymore about any problems yeah uh Badoof is setting up his uh covid task force you calling him Badoof? <laughs> i don't know i don't want to talk about any of this anymore no i don't either after but, december yeah. 31st the politics have no place in this in these walls <laughs> yes i agree completely uh, it, it just leads it leads to too many misunderstandings and arguments it, well, I mean, I'm just glad that we have, like, how do I want to put this? I'm just glad that we, it's not while scary. we disagree on a lot of things, we're able to come together and just realize that this whole fucking thing is a giant piece of shit. Well, yeah, but some people don't realize that. <laughs> I know, but I don't know. I'm just tired. It's okay. I shot a gun yesterday. Yeah, tell me. Tell me about the gun shooting. <laughs> it was fun. I don't want to say the name of the place, but <laughs> it was... Oh, I'm going to burp. 
Your move, creep. There we go. Um, I don't know what this voice sounds like. I, I assumed it's RoboCop because it's called Police Spot. Your move, creep. Your move, creep. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I. I brought my. <coughs> I brought. I brought. Well, I should just call it ours. I guess. I brought our uh, Ruger SP101. Nice. Loaded up with some 38. It takes 357, but they didn't have any there. Apparently, there's some kind of ammo shortage going on right now. Which, gee, I wonder why. Yeah, um, well, yeah. there has been, I thought. Yeah, I guess so. So, you can rent guns there, too, but I mean, like, you know, this is a new gun, and Christina never, he, she's never shot a gun before. Really? I, I, yeah, I have. I'm not, no, I am ain't no expert. <laughs> I suck. No, I, but actually. you're, you have a penis, so of course you've touched and shot a gun before. Yeah. So, you know, she was really nervous about it. She's like, well, you know, I don't know, you know, I don't want this fly out of my hand. I've watched too many fail videos. <laughs> And I'm you like, want to have the butt of the gun fly back and break your fucking teeth in? Yeah, and I'm like, it's not going to do that. Actually, I'd forgotten the gun was a 357. Anyway, because I mean, I haven't looked at it for months. I bought it months ago. Yeah, have only got a chance to to fire it yesterday, and uh, you know, we sent a hundred rounds through it <laughs> yesterday. It's so dirty now. I ordered a cleaning kit. It should get to here today. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this fucking thing. <laughs> Yeah, that was a lot you never of fun. really think about the whole maintenance thing, do you? I, I do, but not with revolvers. The whole idea, right? The whole the reason why I like a revolver is that they're idiot proof. You know, you can't wait. How so? I mean, it's not like a semi. It's not like a semi-auto where you know there could be a bullet in the chamber and you don't know and you blow your fucking head off. Or you know, there's all sorts of mo- all sor- sorts of moving parts with a with a pistol, all kinds of shit God, like I that. But with a revolver. I fucking wish I had the gun sound effect loaded up. Yeah, but with a revolver, I had like, I had it's like just this... a, it's just a trigger and a hammer and a and a, and a wheel. You know, <laughs> it's, that's all it is. Yeah, it's fair. God, I had like I had the greatest like fifty caliber rifle sound effect. <laughs> now, revolvers aren't necessarily good for home defense, of course, because this one only holds five rounds. Oh, I wait. The one I own. Some, yeah. some revolvers will hold more rounds at lower caliber. Oh, okay, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah, because I've seen a ten round revolver, but it's a twenty two or whatever. Because well, I always just thought it was really cool, and it was like, what's that? Is the gun the Killer Seven in the fucking Resident Evil Four that has seven rounds? Oh, uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, like I said, this thing holds thirty eight or. 357. They didn't have 357 there, so I bought I brought my box of 38, and then bought another box of 38. So we fired that through. I mean, it was still it still had some kick. So I mean, but it's Christina's first time shooting, so it's probably better not to just you know blow her own head off with a 357. Now yeah. she, towards the end, she actually she <laughs> she's a better shooter than I am. We set the thing out by, uh, I guess it was like. Five yards? No, yards, that that sounds too big. Let's say 10 feet away. You know, the, the amount, amount of distance, I guess, you would have if someone who's approaching you. You don't want them to approach anymore. <laughs> but you can still hit the fucking target. She was yeah. hit, she hit him in the head. Her, her last time she was shooting, she hit she hit the target in the head five out of five. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then she spun around and shot my cock off. <laughs> 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 no, it, it, she got... She yeah she had a lot of fun she's you know after a while I didn't really I, you know I fired I I'd say I probably fired about I think we went fifty fifty but I got I got I like didn't want to fire much anymore after like forty rounds and said you can go nuts yeah. but then her hands started to hurt after a while so I was, so I just started firing some off huh uh, nice it's got a double action uh, I'm sorry it's a double action revolver you can pull the you can pull the hammer back but it, the the pull on it's really really strong so I don't yeah. really fuck around with that I mean. I don't know why. I read that's just how the Ruger is. It's got a it's got a really tough uh, hammer pull. You're not gonna fan the hammer with that thing. You can't. If so, if you if some, <laughs> I mean, I can't. If someone, if, if there's someone out there who can, then God bless them. But I, I can't fucking do it. You can like apparently people have like replaced the spring in there or whatever because it's like a really strong spring. You can replace it. But then I'm like, yeah, but then it's not really. I don't want to fuck around with it like that. Yeah. I mean, maybe someday. I already have my. I already have my. Uh, my sights set on more guns. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Uh, That's the, awesome, though. The CZ Scorpion uh, SP. No, is it SP? 
It's something too is fucking sweet looking. It's a nine millimeter semi-auto pistol. So it's Ooh. like, but it's like an Uzi. It looks yeah, yeah. so it's like that. You can have a fold out stock on it. You can put all kinds of shit on it because it's got what's it called a Picatinny rail. It's got it's got a rail on three sides. <laughs> so it's not just the top; it's the sides as well, and maybe the yeah, bottom. I I just picture that fucking scene where he buys all the guns in Taxi Driver from that guy who looks like me with long hair. Oh, I never saw that movie. Ah, that one's a real fucking beaut. He, he like he he gets this like fucking twenty year old kid who's selling guns and like an oversized suit to come up to his room with like a briefcase full of guns. Oh, I have seen he that just, scene. He just buys like the whole lot. It would be funnier if it was like a bunch of bad dragon dildos or something. That right yes. there, that's Brutus. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's got, a real beaut. You gotta look up the CZ Scorpion. The thing's fucking sweet, but it's it's what was it again? CZ, like letter C, letter Z, Scorpion. CZ Scorpion. But I forget the name of the Ooh. actual gun. Yeah, it looks cool as shit. Yeah, but they sell they sell uh, regular pistols too. So there's a 45 that looks really cool that was actually yeah. at this place to rent. I didn't know. I didn't know what I was looking at when I was looking at it. And What's I was like... It's airsoft gun. I know! That's why I think it's so cool. I mean, I, yeah, it's not like a knock against it. I think it's just because the fucking magazine is like... It's got like clear plastic you don't have it. to get the see-through one i know right, I, right. I find that a little stupid and i forget what it's called it's new like... from nerf hold on yes. I, I have a voice changer now why am i fucking uh where is that one uh here we go new from nerf it's the fucking uh cz <laughs> scorpion evo 3 with bolt action uh that's it evo i should have yeah. remembered it was called evo because i kept laughing because i kept thinking of the fucking game thing the tournament the fighting game tournament evo oh <laughs> i'm going to evo and you just shoot everybody <laughs> but i don't it, think that was a good enough voice i don't think that was a good enough voice changer for like it was commercial it wasn't. i wonder if this one worked better maybe. no that sounds like know. shit uh what about this one god i wish the fucking background music wouldn't come but it makes it, it, it sounds so much funnier with the background music <laughs> Uh, no, I, I was going to say, you. Um, I don't know when the fuck I was ever going to use this, but I was going to try and relate you going out and shooting gun with, like, uh, this. Just like, pull the fuck over now, <laughs> you dead meat kid. <laughs> God. Um, I'm not sure which one. Oh, God, this is, like, way overdriven. Um, all these cops. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That was that was me driving into PA. Oh no, yep. I just I just doxed myself. Uh, oh no, they know you live near Pennsylvania. Oh <laughs> uh, like, fuck! Oh fuck! It narrows it down a whole lot. No one knew that Delaware was next to Pennsylvania till yeah. now. Yeah, uh, I watched Dines Gate. Oh what? yeah. Did Which you cry at the banana? <laughs> I did cry at the banana. Wait, I never. So are you are you aware of the story of Steins Gate or just, uh, uh, kinda? I, I don't, it okay. sounds too depressing for me to ever want to watch. Plus, you sound really low, so if you might want to get a little closer, uh, it's it's really good. It is depressing, but it's it's got enough like comedy moments in there to keep it fucking like lighthearted. Oh, all right. I got too much homoerotic only... uh, Golden Kamoi to watch. It's it's maybe about as depressing as Eva, which I guess is not a thrilling endorsement. But... <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it'd be funny if, like, there's like the femboy character, and then like when they change, uh, when they change him back to a boy from a girl, his dick is all green and gelatinous. And fucking... what? what the hell? what happens with the banana. They they oh, they microwave the banana and send it back in time, and it goes back on the bunch, but it's all like green and gelatinous, which I guess is an effect of like it traveling back in time or something. I don't know. Time travel. Uh, it's it's an interesting. It's an interesting take on time travel because apparently, according to one of the guys that was watching us with it, like it's it's based on like almost real technology or at least it's it's science fiction, but it's it's based on stuff that is theoretically possible. And apparently it's also based on like a 4chan post from years and years ago about a guy who claimed he was a time traveler. Like and they just straight up name drop what the guy called himself on that, like John Teeter or something. Oh, like they they straight up mentioned the large hadron collider in there they 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 
they mentioned CERN. It's spelled S E R N instead of C E R N in this universe, but like, mm. yeah, it's all like based on a bunch of shit that like could theoretically be possible. So, but I, I liked it a lot. I'm a sucker for a good time travel story, and this one's really fucking good. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to go play the VN, though, just because now that I've watched the anime, I kind of know what happens. And oh. the, guy, the guys in the Discord we were watching and all were wondering about watching Steins Gate Zero, which is uh, like a, a semi-sequel, but it's supposed to be way more fucking depressing. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to watch that. Because <laughs> it, gets, it gets real dark near the end, and basically Steins Gate Zero is supposed to take place during like the darkest part of like what happens between like the last two episodes. So I'm like, hmm... I don't know if I want to go on that roller coaster ride because it was already pretty fucking depressing near the end anyway. But I like that show a lot. It's now one of my new favorites, I think. And I have a bunch of new waifus now. Hello? Yeah, I'm listening. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it because I don't want to like spoil it for anyone who's never fucking seen it or played the vn or whatever but you should totally if you guys if you haven't experienced steins gate go in as blind as possible because i did and just fucking enjoy it because it's really good and now i have to download the i should mention the english dub is really fucking good like surprisingly so hmm. they're, they're, like it doesn't seem that great at first it just seems like your standard like english dub but like the way they localized it and especially like some of the more emotional performances from some of the female voice actors like later in the season it's just like god damn they are killing it so i'd actually recommend watching the dub it's pretty good uh but i have to for this soundboard i have now i have to fucking get the sound clip of the main girl character singing a song that lived rent free in my fucking head for two days where she's singing when you're on a chicken bender grab a box of chicken tenders bok magok it's very cute what else do you have to talk about because you're giving me nothing (laughs) I've got nothing to say about that show I've never seen it never watched it don't want to watch it Uh, all I know was the banana that was it yeah there's bananas in it uh, speaking of time travel, I watched a movie with uh, uh, Christopher Lloyd. Uh, yeah, well, uh, Clue? No, not Clue. Although I've, I have seen Clue plenty of times. No, no, uh, I am not a serial killer. Oh, when it was when was that released? A couple years ago, or maybe last year? It's new. That sounds vaguely familiar, but yeah, he's like old, so that's... Yes. <laughs> And he was great in it. I always forget how good of an actor he is. Well, I didn't realize he was in Over the Garden Wall until I watched it. Um, Which character was he? Because I totally remember him. He's the woodsman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I recognized his voice. Yeah. It's like immediate. I'm like, oh, shit. Christopher Lloyd's in this? I mean, it was already cool that, like, uh, I think Elijah Wood's the main dude in that show. Oh. Elijah Wood gets, like, a lot of voiceover roles and like weird shit that you wouldn't expect like he was the main guy in broken age too yes yeah but uh yeah how was how was i'm not a serial killer because that sounds vaguely familiar but i don't i I can't picture it now that i'm thinking about it it's really good i so i first watched black fly which is uh it's it's not a horror movie it's like a i guess you call them thrillers it's a thriller about i mean basically it's about like uh I mean, it's it's really about like from, you know uh, abuse, the cycle of abuse. Uh, if you're abused, and you'll abuse, and all this kind of crap. It's a miserable fucking movie, but it was good. It's called hmm. Black Fly, uh, yeah. and it was actually had a really badass shootout at the end. I, was, <laughs> I think you're supposed to feel bad, but I was just like, this is pretty badass. <laughs> so I don't know. I liked it, but then I was telling Celine about it, and then she told me to watch. Uh, I am not a serial killer because uh, she said, oh, I think. You'll like that if you liked Black Fly. Maybe it was made by the same person. I didn't really... I forgot to check. But I Am Not a Serial Killer is about a... I don't want to give away... I could tell you exactly what it's like, but then it'll give away the... I guess... Is it a twist? I mean, I guess you find out like a half hour in. Basically, it's like a more serious Fright Night. Okay. Yeah, it's this... uh, People are dying in this town. They're getting like horribly murdered and like chopped up. And you and you're, you know, people think it's a serial killer, and then you find out it's a, it's an actual monster. 
So, but you know, mm. it, it's interesting because the main character is a socio is, is an actual sociopath, right? Who right. thinks about killing people. So it's like you're wondering at first. You're wondering like, is this is this kid actually killing people or is it something else? And you find out it's not him. But it, you know, it was good. I, yeah. I can't really say much about it besides that it was good. I guess uh, mm. the special effects were actually really gross. Like, not gross, but I mean they're. There's an autopsy scene in the beginning, and it looked it looked realer than I've ever seen a movie look. Uh, I like I question if they they were doing an autopsy to a real body. Like it looked that real. Oh jeez. Yeah, like so I I don't know, but uh yeah, but the monster itself didn't look all that great at one point, and then it looked really good because it switched to a puppet. Yeah. What was it like CG? And then it was CG and... when it like emerged. And then it was a puppet, and I was like, "Oh, okay, good." And it's actually filmed. It was filmed on film. It had this oh, kind nice. of strange. Uh, I was noticing like those uh, those film hairs. Yeah, and I was like, "It's what got the... like an analog feel to yeah, it." Yeah, yeah, and it's like so it feels older than it actually is. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and it's filmed in a small town, so it actually it being filmed on film feels more real. Yeah, so that's I, cool. I didn't know like that could still be a thing. I yeah. just figured that, like, any time that they do that, it's like a post-processing effect, you know? That's what I thought, too, until Celine told me it was actually... I, I didn't even think about it. I was just like, why are there hairs? Like, that's strange. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I liked it a lot. Uh, it's on Prime. I don't think it's part of Shudder. I think it's just straight up on Prime. If it is on mm-hmm. Shudder, then then whoops, oopsie poopsie. But there's, like, three different ways of getting a free sh- Shudder account for, like, a month or, or a week. Yeah, or I, uh... I think I got like a, a free trial for that in my copy of Color Out of Space, or it's that or Mandy. I can't remember which movie. Had well, it. that would make sense because they're both on Shutter. Well, Mandy definitely is on Shutter. I don't know about Color Out of Space. I would assume. I still it don't, is. I still don't watch Mandy yet, but I saw it in like the five dollar bin at Walmart. And I'm yeah, like, and I've I, heard this movie's great. So I didn't like it, but you might like it. Probably. It's basically um, a prog rock album. Like the movie is a prog rock album, so I only yeah, really so like. Yeah, I only really like the end because that's when like stuff actually starts happening, like yeah. like the crazy shit that I thought the whole movie was going to be like, and it, it, the whole it was movie more is more of a slow burn then. Yeah, I mean a slow burn is like an understatement. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I fucking Color Out of Space was kind of a slow burn. Yes, but y- it wasn't. It was still an actual movie with a plot and a story that you could follow. <laughs> Well, I'll watch it at some point soon, and I'll let you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not the only one. I should say, I think I'm one of the few people who didn't. Well, it's one of those movies I think they either love or hate. I didn't hate it. I think I hated it kind of at the time because it wasn't what I was expecting. I would watch it again. I might watch it again someday. Uh, I had it. I bought it because I was like, oh, this looks so fucking badass because of the trailers. But the trailers were misleading. There's the guy guy who doesn't like a movie. He's fucking gay. Take him in. Take him down. Uh, no, stop. This man isn't black. <laughs> no, stop. Don't shoot. This man isn't black. <laughs> That's from like Dragon Ball Z something. Dragon Ball Snooper. Yeah, because yeah. there's a character named Goku Black. Yeah. Um, And I only know that because of the fighting game. Ah. Uh, he's just pink haired Goku. But then there's that one. There's There's one character who fuses with him to become like another villain but like the animation for that in the fighting game is so hilarious because it's literally just this this green god dude and goku black spinning around each other and it just cuts to like the one guy's face and it cuts to goku's black black's face and they're just spinning around almost touching dicks it's hilarious i wish i could find the fucking hold on i'm about to get racist uh Please tell me it's on here. This gif of them spinning around in the air, touching dicks. <laughs> it's so it's fucking because like the way it's edited is so funny. I mean, this is from the anime, so <laughs> it's not the same thing. Oh yeah, okay, I see it. <laughs> no, but uh, it's all right. <laughs> no, it's not all right. I gotta find it. <laughs> Can't remember anything else I've watched. Oh wait, I watched I, uh, I watched a bunch of movies actually. <laughs> I watched uh, I I, oh. I watched a movie that I I identify with on a molecular level, which uh, is Freddy Got Fingered. Oh word, that movie's great. 
that movie is great. Um, I I I'd never seen it, and I didn't realize it was just the story of me. <laughs> well, you got a blowjob from a girl in a, in a wheelchair. Yeah, well, I I meant more the fact that uh, oh, a it's, cartoonist. It's about, a, it's about a cartoonist who's an asshole. Yes. And, you you uh, should watch Monkey Bone. It's the same thing. I do want to watch Monkey Bone, but like, yeah, it's the fact that it's a fucking, it's a movie about a cartoonist who's an asshole. And not that I have a bad relationship with my dad, but he's always like, this fucking gay ass cartoon <laughs> shit. Like, I know that's what he's thinking deep down. Yeah. So it's like, I, I, yeah, Rip I, Torn I just think, comes out with it. God, Rip Torn in that movie. I can't, I can't believe he died this year or last year, whatever it was. Oh, I didn't know He that. died recently. Um, but uh, no, I, I left a letterbox review that said, "God, I wish I could show this movie to my dad so he could understand my struggle of being an animator." <laughs> no, that's a good. It's funny. It's funny because I didn't. I growing up, I didn't particularly like the Al Green, uh, Tom Green show. I thought it was stupid. Right. But when this movie came out, I was like, oh, I guess I could watch that. And I ended up really liking it because, like, you get the Tom Green stuff like front loaded in the beginning of the movie, and then the rest oh, of the movie jacking off a horse. Yeah, but then like the rest of the movie is really just it's. It's so hard to, like, I don't think people gave it enough credit that it was, it's, I think he made the movie because, he made, yeah, he made the movie, like, it's, it's a boilerplate plot, but like, God, it's, I hate to, I hate to compare it to things like, like, uh, Tim and Eric Awesome Show, but that's what it kind of is. Yeah, it's just, well, because it's just like. It's a sketch comedy. It's a bunch of different sketch comedy skits interstitched together with the most bare ass plot, and it just seems like. I mean, it, I'm basically just quoting the the red letter media video. Yeah, where they're just like, yeah, it seems like you lost a fucking bet, and the bet is make a Hollywood movie. And then there's like that bit at the end where he gets the million dollars from selling his cartoons, and he's just talking to the construction guy about it, and he's just basically talking about the movie. Yeah. But that movie is like 15 years ahead of its fucking time. Like it's just so dri- dripping with irony and like yeah, performances that are like so funny because they're like they're not being performed correctly for the line that's being said. Like, <laughs> sir, sir, can you keep it down? This is a this is a hospital room and I'm pregnant. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't realize that you were pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> fucking great. That's a good movie. I, I have not laughed that hard. At a movie in a long fucking time. As I, I knew I knew this movie was for me when he goes to he goes to like the big wig guy at the restaurant to pitch his cartoon and then the guy says like it's not good enough and he just like Tom Green just pulls out a gun and starts screaming, I'm gonna kill myself in the middle of the street. <laughs> puts in his mouth. And I'm like, that's literally like a joke I've made before. Yeah. <laughs> gun prop and everything. Fuck. I mean that's the that's the video where I have the night terrors. Oh yeah. <laughs> I blow my brains out next to you in the bed. Good times. That that movie's fucking God. Yeah, I'm I'm like mad that that hasn't been put on Blu-ray now because that's that's a good ass movie. I watched. Oh, it isn't. No, that's the whole the whole point of the when the Red Letter Media guys did their review of it. They were saying release the green cut because apparently there was stuff that was cut out of the movie and it's only been released on DVD. It's not on Blu-ray or anything. Weird. Yeah, I know. Considering it's basically a cult hit at this point. Yeah, I, I think it. I think I think the rest of the world has caught up with Tom Green's genius. I guess so. And realized what a masterpiece that movie actually is. But yeah, rip, rip, torn in that movie, just straight fucking killing it. Just I. Lo- <laughs> he's just so angry, and he just destroys everything in every scene he's in after the first scene. <laughs> he's in like the shower with the scuba gear and he just throws Tom Green through the glass <laughs> fucking door and just smashes his head on the toilet I know he fucks him up so bad the daddy would you like some sausage scene and Rip Torn just fucking fucking kicks his synthesizer in half <laughs> I don't remember that part that's great daddy would you like some sausage like it's not streaming I... anything either I think I don't think so, no. And I never had context for that scene. I didn't realize the reason he's doing that is because his girlfriend says, well, if you're having trouble being creative while drawing, just eat some snacks or play some music while you do it. And he's like, I don't have that many hands. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
the reason he's doing that is because he's like, okay, I'll tie some sausages to strings on my fingers while playing a synthesizer while drawing. <laughs> and then I guess hang a couple steaks from my ears for some goddamn reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that movie's retarded, but I love it. It's very much in the same vein as, like, I would say Kung Pao, where yeah. it's, like, an objectively stupid movie, but it's so fucking funny that I don't care. I mean, it's like I mean, a, it's ten, a romantic it's comedy, comedy too, on top of it, which is funny. Yeah. God, I, I said, um, uh, it was, like, oddly sexual when he's, like, caning her, her uh, paralyzed legs with the fucking cane, and she's just screaming out in orgasmic pleasure. Well, it's not vaguely, it's supposed to be. <laughs> No, I know, but then I said, like, I think I, I was on I was on Nude Clan last week, we were reviewing Honey Pop, and I said, and that made me think, damn, I don't know if I want to jack off to this, but I'm wondering if there's a porn where, like, a chick's tied up to a chair and they're just, like, firing baseballs at her pussy with a pitching machine. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to jerk off to that, but I want to see if it exists. I'm sure it exists. And then someone sent us a fucking clip of uh, a girl who's basically tied up with her, like, ass out, and then someone's, like, firing those, um, those, uh, spiky balls from like that certain kind of tree oh god yeah firing at her asshole and then one gets caught like directly between her ass cheeks it's it's kind of funny (laughs) (laughs) those things hurt (laughs) yeah i know my neighbor had one across the street we were growing up yeah i I can't imagine one of those getting fired from a slingshot at my asshole (laughs) holy howdy was it funny i watched i watched a movie that's like that's like Related to that, I watched Eight Millimeter finally with Nick Cage. Oh, oh we were just talking about Nick Cage too, huh? Yeah, I don't think I've heard of that one. No, I don't think it's yeah, a Schumacher really movie. Know. Eight Millimeter oh. is a is about a is he's a, a like like the Lost <sighs> Boys Joel Schumacher. Yes. Okay. And he's a private detective who works for. You know he's 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 good at discretion. So basically, he gets this case brought to him where a, a rich lady, her husband just died, and she was going through his stuff through the safe and found a snuff film, and hires cool. him to find out if it's real or not. So the movie is him investigating, trying to find out who's in the movie, if it's real, who filmed it. Uh, it's it's great. And uh, Peter Stormare is in it. My my fucking guy. I love that guy. Yeah, Peter Stormare is awesome. Oh, uh, he's so fucking cool. And uh, he's in it. I think oh, he's and... in Until Dawn, right? Probably. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Is he's the psychiatrist? Okay. Did you play that or a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Who else is uh, uh, the Sopranos guy is in it too? Tony. Uh, uh fucking uh, James Gandolfini. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but it's what's funny about the movie is it's. Not... Apparently it was supposed to be a lot more weird, but you know, it was a studio movie, so I guess they couldn't do this, but like he, he goes on, the, he goes to like the, oh yeah, um, Joaquin Phoenix is in it too. <laughs> he, uh, he, he goes to like the porn underground to try to find more snuff films if they exist right? or, you know, any kind of anything that's freaky. So they, they find like BDSM, BDSM stuff and he goes to like BDSM club, but they're talking about it like. This is the real dark shit. This is some freaky weird shit. And I'm watching it, and I'm watching this movie. I'm like, eh. <laughs> like it's not. I don't watch BDSM, but like it doesn't. It doesn't like. I wouldn't watch it, but like it doesn't like freak me out. Like oh my god, this is sick. He the- asks for like hogtied housewives four, and the guys like come with me, and he goes down in the back, and it's a weapon shop. Yeah, exactly. Whatever, the, whatever the fuck the porn you have to select to get to the secret weapon shop in Yakuza. Yeah, but it was. Uh... Yeah, it was funny, but but the stuff that was actually disturbing was like him investigating the film. You know, that was yeah disturbing. Yeah. But it was a great movie. It was fi- it's finally it was finally streaming on it on that was also on Prime, and I was like, oh, oh fuck, I've been wanting to see this movie for fucking years. I mean, it's it's from the nineties. I have to see what's on Prime now that my Hulu's fucking lapsed because uh, Spotify's retarded, and when I didn't update my new debit card. Um, Spotify like, oh, you got to pay your thing for your subscription to continue. And I'm like, whoops, okay, updated my card. And it's like, all right, you now choose a new subscription plan. And I'm like, I can't just get the one with Hulu that I've had for two fucking years or whatever. Okay, fine, I guess. <laughs> so if I ever want Hulu again, I might as well just spring for that fucking Disney Plus bundle. So I have Disney Plus as well. And then ESPN, which I'll never use, but, you know. 
Yeah, I like. I've been watching Mandalorian the second season. I, I really haven't been digging it too much. I like the first are you, season. Are a you lot. are you angry because there's a woman Mandalorian? <laughs> no, she's from the cartoon. I knew about her. That's why I'm not really enjoying this one so much because like, I, it's, I feel like I feel like I'm watching the same thing again. Because I, I oh. watched. She's she's in Clone Wars and Rebels. So, oh, and what's funny is that chick. She was in a show called. Longmore, Longmire that I really liked. And she was in a movie yeah. I watched last week um, called Oculus. That was actually pretty good. Oh, Oculus is great. Yeah, that was fun, right? It's a it's a freaky ass movie. Oh, I. Oh, well, it's it's trippy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 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 a mind fuck. I wouldn't call I mean, it scary. It, 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 maybe not scary, but it's definitely it's interesting how they were able to, like, take a movie about a haunted mirror and turn it into such a dreadful experience. You know yeah. I mean? It's it's a it's uh, really cool. I thought it was a cool the good, the Redhead good, bad was... flicks episode about that is really cool. The what? The good bad flicks the oh. YouTube channel. Yeah, he did an episode on Oculus. Apparently, so, uh, it's based off of a, like a short, a Korean short. Movie. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, watch the, watch the good bad flicks episode on it. I think he goes into all that shit. Okay. I also I've been watching a guy on YouTube now called Toy Galaxy. I don't know if you know him, but it's definitely shit that's up your alley. Is he the Belgian guy? I don't know if he's Belgian. No, he doesn't have an accent or anything. Oh, um, then I don't know if I've no, seen No, but I, I watched it because I was looking up that fucking, what we were talking about last time, that uh, Crypt Keeper game show. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he had a video, I guess, that he put out on Halloween that was like the secret of the Crypt Keeper cartoon and mm-hmm. like basically also kind of the history of Tales of the Crypt in general. Oh. And then that led to me watching the one about Creepy Crawlers because I didn't realize Creepy Crawlers was from the fucking 60s. Uh, you know, a lot of toys you grew up with were... And I didn't realize that Creepy Crawlers had a fucking cartoon. <laughs> yes, it was awful. Yes, it looked awful. But yeah, and then that led to me watching something about Savage Dragon, which led me to watching something about... Uh, what the fuck? Oh, um, Skeleton Warriors. <laughs> Skeleton Warriors! Yeah, because I didn't realize Skeleton Warriors was like going to be a huge thing and then just died super hard. Well, here's the thing. like I, watched every car- I, 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 f- I feel like I tried to watch every cartoon when I was growing up. I didn't remember that shit at all. Yeah. But there was a lot of stuff. It must have aired on Fox because there was like a lot of shit that like that died on Fox. Yeah, uh, Skeleton Warriors, the animation style of that show looks a hell of a lot like the X-Men cartoon. Yeah, exactly. So, but there's yeah. a lot I, of I'm cartoons. Sure just to carry over from like the way comics looked in the 90s. Yes. Yeah. It's like the Liefeld kind of thing. But but a lot yeah. of a lot of cartoons look like that at the day at that time, I guess because of the popularity of X-Men. But they all like lasted a season or whatever and died. Yeah, yeah, because I, I didn't even realize Savage Dragon got a fucking cartoon. I barely knew who Savage Dragon was because there was that, uh, it was a Sonic the Hedgehog Archie comics crossover with, like, all the Image Comics characters, so it's, like, Sonic, the Archie Sonic comics crossing over with, like, Savage Dragon and the Max and Spawn. Oh, fuck, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was, and Young Bloods. it was retarded. Yeah, like, like that kind of style, like, it, it worked okay for X-Men because... It was like that over the top kind of style, but they toned it down just enough. Right where, right. where like when you when you look at like a comic back then, like there's so much fucking like chrome and yeah. shit well, on these characters. According to this Toy Galaxy guy, even the creator of Savage Dragon said the cartoon was like watered down and not very good. But I, I don't remember didn't Savage Dragon Savage either. Dragon is still fucking going. <laughs> What is Savage? I don't even know what that is. I he's, look like a, he's like a cop, but he's like green and he's got a big fin. Yes, okay. Thing. Now, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Now, but apparently that, that. that shit is still going and it's like, I think it's like still the longest running uh, independently created comic that's still running along with Spawn. Jeez. Yeah, or something. I don't know. I don't read comics, so I don't like, I don't know this shit, but I'm like, damn, that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, you should check out that Toy Galaxy guy. That's absolutely up your fucking alley. Yeah, I think that's so. the kind of shit that I expect to see when I log into the Random Assault YouTube to check the comments and then, <laughs> like basically seeing what's in your recommendeds. You know, <laughs> I might have watched it too. I don't. I don't remember. You probably have. It. it, it I, I. I said it half expecting you to go like, oh, that guy. Um, but yeah, I'll probably go drive, dive through his fucking backlog and see what else he's talked about. I was kind of hoping since it's like a toy based. I guess he's a toy based. YouTube channel. I was hoping with all the Halloween stuff, he I wanted to find a video on the secret of on the the history of uh, Doctor Dreadful's drink lab. Oh, yeah, that's the, thing, that's the thing that my fucking friend had that I like have the vaguest of memories of. Yeah, I remember that. But it's in the same vein as Creepy Crawlers, except it's like you can eat this shit. 
Oh, yeah, like, I was going to say... Uh, brain smoothies or whatever. Booger, sh- booger gummies. Shresh Armstrong was like from the 50s. No shit. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it was, it was I, designed it, a little differently, but, you know, a lot guess, of toys... I guess it makes sense that all these companies tried to revive all this shit in the 80s to bank on nostalgia of kids from the 50s and 60s that are parents now. Yeah, it's the same thing the now. Same fucking thing again that's happening now, yeah. Yeah. I noticed that a lot more as I'm as I've been older because I'm like, what is with because I would be well, I knew it. I noticed it a while ago, but I was like, I can't get over like, you know, so much eighties stuff was like fifties. Like, oh yeah. this this will appeal to the kids. Fifties shit. That's what I loved as a kid. And I'm like well, I forget what I, I forget what other channel I was watching where um he was going over like he goes over like forgotten failures, I think it's called. But he was going over like a Munsters made for T V movie from like the nineties. No, him I watch. Yeah. He's great. Because I, I, I watched a shitload of the Munsters on, on Nick at Night when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, because it was like on, but um I'd never seen that fucking movie. It's like hats off entertainment. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, his stuff's good too, because I watched his video on the fucking Three Stooges movie that came yeah. out like a few years ago and I was like, you know what? This movie's probably actually better than the advertising made it look. <sighs> That movie made it look like where it's shit. like look it's the three it's the three stooges but they're talking to snooki yeah i i never liked uh three stooges anyway so i was never going to be interested in that movie regardless well I, I yeah i never gave a fuck but yeah. um uh i mean I'm, I'm sure that movie's a lot better than the advertising gave it credit for because again it made it look like shit i think that's what he says in the video he too, does yeah like, not, advertising not... fails this fucking movie completely where it does it does totally capture the spirit of the old Three Stooges shorts. It's just, you know, they were like, look, it's them talking to fucking uh, John Bon Jovi or whatever. So I don't know. Oh, um. It's another movie. Yeah. I was going to say I watched Visions. That's another movie that was like from 2015 that actually had my boy from uh, Hell on Wheels. But I think I talked about that last week. Uh, last I don't time. think you did. Well, it's I um, I can't say it was a good movie. It was just an interesting movie. The um, like you think the house is haunted that she's in, yeah. and it ends up not really being a haunting. I mean, the movie's called Visions, so it kind of gives away what she's actually seeing. She's, oh. yeah. So, ah. but. I just think it's cool how they tied it all together at the end. All the stuff that she was seeing that she thought was ghosts. But then the right. actual ending is a bit disappointing. I guess I'll just say it because, like, I think it's worth watching from a technical aspect. Because I just right. think it's very cool how they were able to tie all this stuff together. But the movie itself isn't all that great. So, like, mm. it's it opens up with uh, a car accident. This The main character, the woman, crashes into another car. Uh, killing the other person's baby so that oh. she has like so that the woman the main character has like uh ptsd from this and uh her and her husband move out to the country to to start like a wine a winery yeah the house is fucking sweet by the way i would totally live in this fucking house because it's like it's all open like it's like one room but it's you know, it's like it's like in a row. So it's like you got the the kitchen on one end, and then all the middle is like the living room, and then the bedrooms at the other end. It's uh, really it's really cool looking. What like it's a it's a giant hallway? Or... Yeah, like a huge oh, open weird. concept house. It was. I, mean, it was... I do because Corey would always watch those like shows where it's like, look at this house, look at this fucking yeah. crazy house, and it's like some of those I'd be like, yeah. That shit's uh, that shit's dope. I could totally live there, despite that extremely unorthodox like floor plan yeah like there's no doors there were no doors there was no rooms they were just like they were separations it was, it was cool but anyway uh when i did a wall there's i think there was a wall like because then there'd be a bathroom so there's probably like a bathroom in some place in the house and then it was like a wall separating like from the kitchen but it was there was no doors anyway yeah that's not the point no <laughs> no but uh you know and she's like she's she's seeing uh a doctor and and like she's she's been on medication but she's off it now so like that's the one thing where you're like oh is she really seeing shit or is she crazy you know that kind of thing yeah and then uh so the whole movie she's like seeing so there's like a like for example there's a scene 
where um she's like a seamstress or something and she's uh she's she got those like blank dummies like the ones in silent hill yeah yeah she and it looks like it's looking at her in the mirror and she's gets up and then it 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 like chases her and she falls through the a big plate glass window oh geez so you're like what the fuck like how like you think it's a ghost you think it's a you know a poltergeist that's pushing this thing towards her and she falls out the window and there's, yeah. you know, like, like chairs move in front of her when she's walking around this house. And she's only seen this shit in the house. Right, right. And she does some investigation and she finds that, like, this house has been around for 300 fucking years or whatever. And, like, every family has seen shit. Like, there's been spooky shit happening in this house. And like some Amity Vale horror shit? Yeah. But the twist is that there is there are no ghosts it's so basically she finds out like she finds out from someone that uh, uh when something traumatic happens it can release psychic energy and like a ripple of, of psychic energy through time so really yeah. she's having they were, they were all having visions of the future of something traumatic that was going to happen and the ripples the psychic energy went through to the past so this so she's like we there isn't it's like there isn't a haunting we're the haunting cuz that's that's when some shit starts going down so as as she's going through the house as all the shit's going down you see all the things that were happening before happening in real time so the part where this 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 mannequin seemed to come you know come to life and push her out the window she was actually pushing it towards someone who was breaking into the house Oh yeah. So and the chairs that were like jumping out in front of her before, it, when she was getting dragged across the floor, she was reaching out and pulling the chairs, trying to grab onto them. So like all this stuff is like it shows it all connected at the end. There's like a part where um, like the window just blows out when she uh, like a, a kitchen a blow a, a kitchen window just like blows out out of nowhere, but yeah. it was actually a bullet going through the window. No, oh, jeez. Yeah, it was really cool. Now the, the the ending is disappointing because you think, well, shit, this is really traumatic. There can't be any. There must not have been any survivors during the. No, but she she lives, and so did her husband at the end. I'm like, well, this definitely reeks of like audience approval. Whatever yeah, you yeah, call it. Like, oh, oh, we can't have the, we can't have the main characters die at the end. Like, like there wouldn't be this kind of shit wouldn't have happened. Unless if it's because of the bad guys who died at the end and they're the haunting, I, I don't fucking know. But it was just like I was like, well, that's disappointing because they're really setting it up. They're really setting it up for like a real miserable ending, which would have been warranted, but they didn't go with it. Right. Mm. But the spooky shit that happens now, the movie relies way too much on jump scares, like the the loud noise, bang crap. Yeah, but it's still effective enough that like I found the you see the visuals that would accompany the loud bang stuff were were genuinely creepy. So uh, I recommend it. I know I kind of just spoiled the whole thing, but it's still, like I said, it's interesting from a technical level. I think it's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's the same with uh, Oculus. I just think, like, technically that is a cool movie because well, you yeah, never like really you know. a movie that's based around a fucking mirror, and it's like, how do we film this? Well, I mean, yeah, it's like, you know, the whole mind fuckery thing where you're like, you know, there's a part where they're, you think they're outside, but they're not. And then they're outside, yeah, yeah. but looking at themselves. <laughs> it's just, it's just well, I weird. Like, I, I, I like more psychological mind. So do I. Like that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of a good, a good fucking example. I guess layers of fear is a good fucking example. It's not a movie, but you know, no, but that's a like, great, yeah, it's a great game for that reason. Yeah. yeah it's like, or it's not like a scary PT, game, PT but it's cool. The same shit. Huh? PT does the same shit. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, layers of fear was based on PT. So that makes sense. Yeah. But any of that, any of that mind fuck. Sh- give me that good mind fuck shit. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not a horror movie, and I mentioned it earlier. But now that I'm in the Discord server, where we're watching a bunch of movies where we watched Freddy Got Fingered. I found out that like a bunch of them had never seen Kung Pao. So oh no! I'm definitely, I am definitely gonna make them watch Kung Pao because that is something I need to live vicariously again to see the first time. Oh man, that's gonna be funny. Yeah, I hope it holds up. I mean, I assume it does. I watched it pretty recently. So I used to have the DVD, and then I and, uh, I let someone borrow it, never saw it again. And then, like, I just recently got the DVD again, and then the next day, it was, like, like literally the next day, it was streaming. 
Like it had uh, never been streaming before, and then it finally starts. But I'm glad I have the DVD because I have all the weird alternate extras. audios. Yeah. Where you have the one audio for the movie where it's them saying the lines that they were saying at the time that they were going to dub over later. So like, yeah, I, yeah. I always bring it up. It's the scene where he goes, I beg you to reconsider, but he's screaming. <laughs> he's actually screaming. I'm somebody's mommy. You know, just, just to get the lip, the weird yeah, 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 mouth yeah. movements. Oh, it's yeah. so funny. And then there's another uh, one. It's, it's like a, a dramatic reading. So it's like just one guy doing all the parts. Uh, what like in a chair next to a fireplace or something no 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 it, it's like it's a voiceover but he sounds like british <laughs> what like that's just an alternate audio track <laughs> yeah yeah i beg you to reconsider yeah, that's, that's, that's so fucking, that's i so need to funny. buy that dvd is that not on blu-ray no that's a fucking shame i know um, one time when i was still living in philly uh i went to cex which is like a media shop where you buy like used dvds and games and shit and i found thumb wars there <laughs> i used to have those i had thumb wars and um frank and thumb i think yeah but that was that was kind of cool seeing that i also had to i also had to break it that i think that's how kung pao came up to those guys in the server because they were talking about jimmy neutron i'm like you know the guy who did kung pao it's the guy who did jimmy neutron right and they're like what's kung pao i'm like oh fuck <laughs> yeah odenkirk yeah steve odenkirk yeah. yeah there's another odenkirk oh wait it's that he's in that show um uh... I was yeah I was gonna, I was gonna make it with Bob, o, Bob Bob Odenkirk yeah. who is Saul from Better Call Saul and uh, I I know him from Mr. Show oh but, duh yeah yeah Mr. Show is great if you never watched it too that that show fucking rules I forgot another movie I watched where it actually ties in the other guy in Mr. Show what's his name Steve uh, or no fuck fuck uh, <laughs> fuck fuck God, fuck the boss cross, cross the, um, yeah yeah uh, so, whatever. Uh, some, Why can't I think of this first fucking name? It's not Steve Cross? No. Uh, is it Steve Cross? That's uh, something. Um, I watched Megamind. Because he's the voice of the the, the minion. Uh, how is Megamind? Because I've literally never seen it. I liked it a lot. Christina liked it too. I saw it years ago. And I liked it. But I haven't seen it in fuck since probably came David out. Cross. David, David Cross. David Cross. I haven't seen it since he's, like what, 2008. He's the, he's the fish in the fucking, Yeah, he's the fish. Uh, Okay. I actually thought worth, it was Patton Oswalt because he had a similar voice. It's worth watching because that yes. movie looks so ugly. No, it's oh, – fuck you. Get over it. The fucking woman has a seven head. It doesn't matter. Get over it. No, I don't watch movies where women have upside-down pear-shaped heads. Look, just some movies have different styles. You got to get over it, man. You miss, you, you've missed out on a lot. I'm telling you. It, Dude, I'm sorry. It's bad when the when the most attractive person in your movie is Markiplier. Why do you have to fuck everything in a movie? Because I'm a horny boy. Yeah, it, it's really true. It's true what that person said on Twitter that be, uh, gamers only get mad when there's a, when the character is, is is when there's characters in a movie they don't want to fuck. Like that's the well, only yeah, time that's why I didn't it. play The Last of Us too because the yeah. chick looked like Brock Lesnar. Fucking. Oni plays kept calling Ellie smelly Ellie and and that she has that she loves to fart and all this kind of stuff. It was so funny. Oh, um, th- this in that server too. Every night we go on the 4chan flashboard and we watch all the flashes and then we just like you know jerk off like a thing. And at one point, one night, uh, there was like a drawing app that was on there, and there was a bunch of like rooms with stuff that people already drew in there. And someone drew, like, a pretty decent, like, for, for drawing it with, I assume, a mouse and, like, with limited, like, it's not like you can do, like, opacity and shit in this thing. They drew, like, a very good-looking woman. <laughs> but I said, uh, draw green stink lines coming off of where her tits are and just write stinky nipples. So, here's that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, actually, yeah. it is really good. Yeah, stinky nipples is Ooh. my favorite thing. I also like excellent work at the bottom. <laughs> Uh, oh, I didn't know it was a gift that you posted before. It wasn't moving earlier. So can the banner be us as Movie Bob and uh, the Nostalgia Chick, but as Megamind characters? Uh, yeah, maybe. Wait, what was the other thing I said needed to be the banner? I don't remember. Fuck. I, I, mean, I think you wrote it in here. But no, I was going to say... We mentioned Nick Cage an awful lot too, so maybe he should be somehow a part of the banner. Oh, but that's the 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 Flash thing is how I was able to find that um that Splatoon Gachi Muchi thing. Oh yeah, 
it's extremely well edited. So you should you should uh you should watch that sometime. What was the fucking thing? Oh, the can the next banner be our gravestones with a bunch of I voted stickers on them? Oh yeah. That's what was. I don't want to do that now because I don't want to get into the politics shit. No, no, but yeah, it was something like that. It was that. a funny idea at the time. Oh, it was yeah. I bloated. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I didn't want to I didn't want to look up fucking references of a bloated corpse <laughs> when you had a Yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> Oh fuck, yeah. Well, I guess it, I guess the show's over. We're bringing up the banner. I mean, I don't have much else to talk. No, nah, I mean about. either. Yeah, <laughs> and you gotta get going soon. I'm, kinda, I'm uh, Mario Galaxy's still good. I still think Sunshine kind of sucks. Whatever. What what the fuck else? Oh, that's the fuck. That is the banner that you were supposed to draw. Was was uh, flood filled with cum? Now I remember. Oh, was it? Yeah. You think I'd forget? I gotta see my flood full of cum. I gotta have my, uh, yeah, no, I, I gotta have I, my pops. And I was also on two podcasts recently. I was on Nude Clan reviewing Honey Pop because uh, we got the one guy a PC for oh, his yeah. birthday. So I told him he should play Honey Pop, and then he was like, "Dude, I want to review this on the show." I'm like, I, "If you do, let me know. I'll be on, so you have like a third person to talk about it." And um, Last night, this this isn't out yet um, at the time of recording this, but I was on a podcast called Shred It, which is a couple skateboarding. Guys no, I was gonna make a joke on the show saying that it was a Rocket Power fan podcast. <laughs> but, um, Did he beef uh, it? Did the squid beef it? Yeah, the squid beef it super hard. No, it's a show where we get a, we we pick one subreddit. I, I'm only a guest on this one episode. They pick a, a specific subreddit and then they pick a few posts from that subreddit and then just tear into them God. so we talked about r slash vegan so that was fun i i found out whether or not it's vegan or not to get cummed in by a non-vegan uh is it uh i don't know i didn't read the comments but we were just we, you know we were joking on him anyway also oh. we found out how to get a non v we we found out how to get a a 100 vegan gaming headset <laughs> Oh, I guess because what like the leather, the, yeah. Oh, the leather. I was gonna say the glue's involved. There's glue. Oh, I don't know. I I said I think your bigger problem is all the little Chinese hands putting together that headset in a sweatshop in Taiwan. But yeah, exactly. Uh, well, human lives don't matter to these people. No, of course not. Um, but yeah, shred it. Uh, I'm on the R slash vegan episode of that, which by the time this comes out should be out. Uh, and I'll also have probably done the banner for that, the thumbnail for YouTube. So check that shit out. <laughs> I've done, I've done nothing for nobody. Well, I mean, I just happened to, like, you know, the Nude Clan guys had me on before because I had, like, a Patreon invite episode, but then this one, they were like, you've wanted us to play Honey Pop for, like, fucking ever, so you want to be on this episode and review it? I'm like, yeah, I can beat that game in, like, three hours. I'll do it this weekend and we'll talk You donate about to it. their Patreon? You simp. Are you a yeah. simp? <laughs> I donate to a lot of Patreons now, but it's mostly just, like, a buck or two to artists I really like so I can get all their high-res shit. Nah, that's um, fair. Yeah, uh... Okay, I said um, I was simping <laughs> to Christina. I said I was, uh, what's that, that cosplay chick? I think her name's Patty. Yeah. Oh, I, God. Yeah. I know. I said I was, I was simping for her, and she was like, you, you sent her money? I said, I was like, I didn't mean it literally. <laughs> she was like, I was about to get oh, really mad. Uh, I, I backed the thing today, too, on Kickstarter. It's, I, I retweeted it. I don't know if you saw it. It's a game called Double Shake. Mm hmm. They're, they're kick, at the time of recording this, their Kickstarter has three days left. They're probably gonna, it's not going to be open by the time um, this comes out. But it's Here. basically a love letter to Mischief Makers and Klonoa and Tomba. Oh, okay. Like a two and a half D platformer. That is very much just lifting the shaking mechanic from Mischief Makers. <laughs> but it, it looks super fucking cute, and it was like twelve bucks to get a digital copy of the game. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll back this. Hey, you're a brave guy it, for it, backing it, anything on Kickstarter, especially video well, games. It, yeah, but I was like, you know what? This looks really cute, and you know, I never played Mischief Makers, so I'll play whatever the fuck this is that's just like it. You could have like gotten Clonoa. Mischief Makers for like half that. <laughs> I'm sure I could. Wait, what? No, I thought that was a rare ass game. Mm, I don't think so. If it is, Mischief I'd better Makers, sell it. Mischief Makers strikes me as the type of N64 game that's rare enough that you could get a decent amount of money for it. Let me go to PriceCharting.com and see. I mean, I got uh, my copy for like six bucks, so. But yeah, um, that game looks super cute, and I was like, "Well, twelve bucks, whatever." It was already backed, 
but it's like, eh, you know what? I like the I like the I like the cut of this project's jib. The only thing I'm waiting on is that uh, beat 'em up book uh, that, that guy's making on uh, that I follow on Twitter. Uh, fucking loose price for mischief makers is thirty bucks. <sighs> oh shit! Complete in box is uh, almost a hundred. Well, okay, price. complete in box doesn't surprise me. Also, Nintendo games have just sky fucking rocketed over this year. I, I got. I, I put a lot of games that I own in plastic just because they're like they're worth like what they would have been if you paid for them new, right? And a lot of these games I don't like, like I wouldn't play. So I mean, like I I don't I didn't collect games to never play them or anything like that. I was collecting yeah. games because these are games I heard about that I was like, oh, this okay, this would be fun. Like I never paid more than like maybe maybe thirty dollars for a game like i wasn't going ape shit trying to get these games well i'm sure i'm sure if you were going to pay more than 30 bucks for a game it was going to be some white whale game that you always wanted to play like for me it would have been like when i got guitar man for like 45 bucks off ebay which is a relatively low price for that game i think yes yes that's what i'm talking about there's like you know all these games i bought for fairly you know not that expensive but they just shot up over the you know over this last year it seems like because i i guess because of covid and like people were home and they're bored and they're just paying whatever they can to get these fuck i don't know i don't know why but i was just really sh- well i'm sure i'm sure it has something to do with the fact that like i don't know with the with the with, with how popular video games have gotten even over the past decade yeah you're right maybe it's just the, maybe it's just the trend that it's an upward trend um, well, and the, and the fact that they have these mini consoles coming out now and people are like, oh, retro games can be kind of cool. So yeah. it's like, yeah, I'm sure retro gaming is making a bit of a comeback, especially with so many fucking YouTube uh, channels dedicated to the collection and preservation of that shit. Not that it wasn't happening before, but I mean, it seems yeah. like uh, the trend could have only gone upward in the past decade alone. And I don't necessarily want to sell these games either. Like the only way I'm going to sell any of these games is if they, they become excess of like a few hundred dollars. Yeah. that will be like, okay, yeah, it'll be worth it now to try to sell this game, but not. And at a certain point when it comes to me, it's like, I'm never going to play this again. It's like, I sold my copy of Dokapon kingdom for the Wii. Cause it's like, I mean, I love this game, but I'm never going to get friends around long enough to yeah. sit down and play this fucking thing with me. And it goes for like $130 loose. So fuck it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh even, even the manga, yeah. I sold some manga and I got like a decent amount. I got like, I accidentally put it up with, um, uh, make an offer i didn't want to do that but uh so like i put the uh what was it It was beck you know remember mongolian uh, chop squad yeah yeah i yeah, had the first yeah. nine issues of it and i'm like you know this is great but if i ever want to actually like experience this story again i'll probably get the anime yeah because th- okay. that the first nine issues are basically the anime and i read the rest of them a long time ago on yeah. like online and, and it gets so it, i remember it getting so shitty and unbelievable so I was like, eh. like it was just a cute story about people start a kid starting a band, and then just got into like, you know, like the horror stories you hear from like the musical music industry of like people getting yeah, shot and stuff. I was like, I don't care about this stuff. Anyway, I put it up for like eighty, and no seventy, and I got and like an hour later, not even I, I got two offers, uh, one for seven, uh, one I'm sorry, I put it up for seventy, one for sixty, and then one for eighty, and I'm like, well. I don't know if people are going to bid on this or not. Like, do like do I risk trying to get more money for this, or do I just sell it for exactly what I paid for these books ten yeah. years ago? <laughs> so I was like, I'll just accept the offer for eighty because fuck it. I mean, I think it's a. I don't care about making a profit on any of this stuff. If I can make the same amount I paid for it, fuck yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So I bought the Ever EverDrive, <laughs> the Famicom EverDrive. I'm oh, sorry. Nice. Super NES, Super Famicom, EverDrive. I haven't gotten it yet. Apparently, I didn't know these were made in Ukraine. So it's going oh, really? to take a. It's going to take a little while. Damn. But that's going to be pretty sweet because then I can actually play. Oh, we talked about this. I can actually play like like SNES games with the SNES controller because playing them on the arcade isn't really doesn't work. Yeah, I can't believe you actually bought that Outrun machine. I mean, I can, but. <laughs> I know, right? Like, what, what fucking fool would buy a PS5? Meanwhile, I'm waiting for it. I, I, I had to make that tweet because I was thinking, like, man, because I had that thought. I was like, man, the PlayStation's so fucking expensive. The, play, the PS5's so fucking expensive. But then I was like, yeah, you just spent $550 on a 
on a on a large piece of cardboard that, <laughs> that has four games. I know, but it's so fucking cool. Oh no, I don't regret my purchase. I just think it, I, I shouldn't make fun of other people spending the same amount of money. <laughs> Let me put it this way: I have much more of a emotional connection to outrun than i do than i ever will have an emotional connection to like bug snacks or fucking um spider-man miles morales or whatever yeah no exactly and plus yeah outrun is my second favorite game of all time like it's streets of rage 2 and then it's outrun now i'm not saying like if i had if i was on a desert island would i want outrun no but it's the one i have the most like emotional fucking now, Outrun 2, <laughs> that's yeah. a different story. Well, if I had played that, I definitely would have, because that game looks fucking rad. Outrun 2, 2006, Coast to Coast, because yeah. it actually has, like, kind of a single-player mode with, like, objectives and shit that you move through. Yeah, I wish I'd gotten that game back in the day, because it looks really sweet. I, I found it for 10 bucks at a flea market, and I'm happy. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't 10 bucks no more, let me tell you. I know it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, you know. The no problem is if you want every car in the game, you have to connect it to the PSP version. So, oh, that's yeah. funny. I mean, you know, we're talking, mm-hmm. about, we're talking about these games like you couldn't just fucking, you know, get the ROMs, but. Yeah, but I mean. It's different. Outrun's such a tricky fucking thing, too, because it's got the Ferrari license. So it's like, it's the same thing that happens with Afterburner. It's like Afterburner gets taken off of every digital storefront that it's on because it has the fucking license for the F14 Tomcat. I forgot to look if. Because I got Outrun 3D on the 3DS, and I forgot to look if it had the Ferrari license. It must not. I don't think that one does. I I mean, specifically Outrun 2. I think Outrun Uh, 2 is the one that had the Ferrari license. Uh, So I thought it was funny. There were some people complaining, like, you know, they're saying, like, oh. The arcade one up arcade is it? I think it's arcade one up. I always call it. It's either one up arcade or whatever. People know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, people are saying like, doesn't have the Ferrari license. It's not even worth it. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's a it's an emblem, you faggot. It it, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't affect yeah, the game. Yeah, and again, I, I don't think that shit happened until Outrun Two. I don't like because I know that I know that machine also has like Outrunners and a few other ones on there. Yeah, a drift something it's got it's got outrun turbo outrun outrunners and then something oh power drift that's what it's called yeah power yeah. drift i tried playing that I, I actually did get the well i had this the snes version of it or whatever it's like i it, it, it makes me sick because it, it like <laughs> the whole screen moves when you turn instead of you're just your character turning like it, it moves like like if you're sitting in like a cabinet it, it's yeah it's it's gross so uh, I'm hoping it doesn't. If it doesn't actually do that, then I'll probably play it because it looks pretty cool. But it, no, but the movement of it makes me sick. That's that's one thing I like about 3D Outrun on the 3DS and some of those other like 3D conversions. Yeah, you got that, the like, cabinet. It's such, a, it's such a it's such a meaningless addition. But like the arcade noises. Yes. Like, no, I think it's awesome. Make and then like slightly tilting the screen yeah. on your 3DS screen so it looks like you're sitting in the cabinet that's like rocking back and forth. Yeah. I would set it so that it would be full screen, but I put the arcade noises on because I like hearing the the big clunking noises. Yeah, like moving the the gear shift and stuff. It's all part of the experience that we had as kids. Yeah. I mean, the noises and all that stuff. It's I think great. I only ever played the stand up arcade um, cabinet for Outrun. Oh, I'm sure I did too. I, I don't know. I don't know if I ever was if I was lucky enough to sit in a sit down Outrun uh, Outrun cab, but I definitely played the ones where you stand up on for sure. Yeah. Um, I, I've definitely sat in the sat down ones for Outrun Two, and I think even one time when we went to Seaside Heights, I got to play Outrun Two SP, where it had the arcade machine that actually like has the back of the Ferrari as the oh. as the seat. That was fucking dope. Well, I can't wait for like uh, people to start modding this cabinet because oh, I, yeah. I was I looked up uh, I accidentally found a video of a guy who modded uh, just a regular one up cabinet with a wheel and pedals like this was before this came out mm-hmm. so I, I when people are going to do this thing it's going to be really cool i tell you i got a racing wheel too like a really cheap one at walmart for like less than 100 bucks no yeah i got a thrustmaster t80 it's like one of the lower end ones it doesn't have like full like you can't turn the steering wheel 360 degrees because it's got like oh. a bungee cord inside sure sure but it'll it'll work for like if i ever get fucking gran turismo vr or um it works with like Dirt uh, 2.0, Dirt Rally 2.0, which is a hard ass game. Uh, Burnout Paradise. It doesn't work with everything. No, I tried playing with Burnout Paradise. It doesn't uh... like you have to map thing correctly. But there's certain games that do read it. Like uh, I have Project Cars on my PC. It works with that. Um, and there's a few other things I have on my. P- like most of them are like Dirt games. 
Mm-hmm. But I basically got it so eventually I can get like Gran Turismo Sport for VR and play it like in that. Again, it's it's a lower end racing wheel, but I'm not looking to spend like a thousand bucks on a crazy fucking rig. For, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, like virtual racing, as cool as those fucking things are, you know. That's how I see this thing too. I mean, it's like it's five hundred bucks for uh, you know a whole deal. Now, some people are saying that like it looked like the the, the steering wheel was foam. And I don't get that impression from the pictures. I don't know. You'll and, have to let me know when you get it. Yeah, and uh, what was the other thing, too? Oh, like, I don't remember exactly how the steering wheel turned. Like, it definitely wasn't a 300... There's no need to spin the wheel 360 degrees in OutRun. Right, right. So as long as it's got, like, the proper... I think someone... It was, like, 270 degrees or 450, something like that. Like, as long as it's got the the proper... Yeah, like, if it actually that. spins, that would really... That would kind of suck. I don't, I don't remember how much this, this wheel I got spins, like how far it can spin, but... But like, again, I mean, fine. you know, people get this thing and they'll they'll make it... Someone's going to someone's gonna mod it to be like as close to the arcade experience as possible and it, it'll be like from parts you can source off of Amazon like I did with this fucking thing and it'll be perfect. Yeah. So fuck it. But of all the of all the one-up arcade machines, that's the one that I was the closest to pulling the trigger on. Where it's like the Turtles one, oh fuck yeah! But I, I you know, where am I going to put that? The NBA Jam one, oh fuck yeah! But where am I going to put that? This one, oh absolutely fuck yeah! But where am I really going to put this one? I already I I, I rearranged my room again this yeah. last week. I, I I've got space for it. I mean, I I definitely have the space up here to put an outrun machine. It's just you know, I I shouldn't be spending five hundred dollars on a thing with four fucking games. Well, yeah. Uh, they are going to make a stand-up version of it, though. So that might be... I don't think that would be fine. Yeah, but I, if I was going to get this one, I would get the sit-down version. Just yeah. because it's like... I mean, as a kid, I didn't care when I played the stand-up outrun machine like once or twice. But it's like, I'm not going to want to fucking mash on the, the pedals and shit while standing up. That's going to be annoying. Yeah. I'd rather have a sit-down unit. But who knows? That's so fucking cool that they did that, though. Like... I was fun- It was funny because if they hadn't announced this, I might have gotten the pinball machine instead. Yeah, because... what was the pinball machine up and out? Um... Well, it's it's there's a Star Wars one, uh, there's a Marvel one. Oh, because it's all the Zen pinball shit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We talked about this. I forgot. But yeah, that's they... still cool shit, though. It is, but that's also five hundred bucks. So I'm not. About yeah, to spend... but again, you have to figure the LCD for that's going to be huge. If it's just going to be like playing whatever the fuck would be on screen on Zen Pinball on the bottom, and then like whatever's on the marquee is like all that shit. I don't think the thing's yeah. going to be that big. I mean, it's probably going to be as big as a, as a, like a big computer monitor. Uh, I guess, yeah, but. I mean, it, it's it's the difference where, like, when you see it long ways, it's going to yes. look way fucking bigger than a computer monitor. Like, I have a 32-inch TV that's my computer monitor right now, and it doesn't seem that huge. But I guarantee if I removed it from this desk and I turned it sideways, it'd be like, oh, yeah, this thing's fucking big. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I spent that's, all, that's I spent all this money, cool. and I got to, like, uh, I had to take my cat to the vet and uh, yeah, to get her. Her breath was real stink. And Ooh. it was stinky a little while ago, and then it seemed to go away. So I didn't. I kind of just. I didn't ignore it. Like I was worried about it at the time, but then it didn't seem to be stinky anymore. So I was like, oh, I guess it was just a thing. But then it was stinky again. So I took her, and of course they're like, oh yeah, we checked her out. She's got like plaque and maybe gingivitis, and uh, we're hoping not to, but we might have to. You know, when we get in there on Tuesday, because they have to knock her out to clean her teeth, and they're like, oh, if we get in there, we might have to extract. We'll let you know. I'm like, oh fuck. So this guy is gonna... gets up on the podium and he starts talking, and he's like. uh yeah, so we found out that yeah, uh, so introducing, out that, yeah, uh, introducing uh, you know, wet food into her diet makes her her poop just real just stinky, just real like stinky. unbelievably stinky. Oh yeah, that that uh, oh fuck, uh, Kegel Kegel cats. I forget now. Uh, yeah, I forget. Um, yeah, so that was like you know two hundred bucks just to have them check her teeth, and now it's gonna be like five hundred plus to fucking clean her teeth. I'm like, oh good. Oh god. Oh, guess what else too? Uh. It might not affect my car, our car, but there is a recall. On... I saw, I saw today you posted that, and you're like, "Of course, I just bought one." And I'm just sitting there in bed, going, "Like, damn, son, if only you hadn't bought a fucking uh, electric car, like I told you." But you wrote on that tweet. No, I didn't write on that. Oh, tweet, like someone did. I'm thinking to myself, just like, "Hey, we got a gay guy who bought an electric car here. Fucking put him under arrest, send him to jail." I love that car. 
but yeah, they're they're apparently so there's like what there's like sixty thousand of them in the world. Uh, five of them have caught fire, and three of them they can prove that it was the battery, and those three batteries are all made in in a Korea manu- uh, manufacturing company. So it's like the the, the chance of of my car catching fire is like zero point zero one percent. But of course, but, but still, I mean, yeah. you know, this is like a major thing. Like the one fire apparently like also set their house on fire. So, but you know, they're doing an investigation. They recommended to put the, the charging at 90% uh, capacity and parking it outside. But I didn't get an email, a notification about the VIN number. So it, it's like, it's affecting bolts from 2017 to 2019. Mine's a 2019 but mine might have been made after the 2019s that are affected because I, I never got not- notified. We'll see how that goes. I'd like to play a game. Oh, yeah? You buy an electric car. I have it hooked up to explode. And you don't want to die today. You have to suck your friend's dick who's sitting in the back seat. The key... To get out of your restraints is in his dick. You have to make him come to get the key. Ow. What? That would suck. Well, uh, yeah. But, I'm... Uh... but that's something Jigsaw would do. Yes. Well, I've only seen the first movie, but I assume so. Hi, my name's Matt. I'm trans. I bought an electric car. <laughs> No, I wasn't trans until I bought the electric car. I, yeah, I, I bought an electric car, now I'm trans. Oh no, I have a vagina. Uh, oh no, does this one sound better? I'm, there's two man to woman. Oh, what if I do woman to man? Oh, how's... Ooh, how's this gonna sound? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> sound cool. Yeah, dude. I fucked. You fucked and now your voice is that deep? Oh no, hi, my name's Matt, and I'm drowning in cum. <laughs> when, the, when the boys are drowning in cum. Oh, God. <laughs> I am under the my lungs. I am oh, under the fuck. water. Oh no! Someone, please help! So stupid. Yeah. Uh, All right. So what's uh, the? Oh this, wait. There's one called engine. Hold on. Uh, Hi, my name's Matt's car. Why is this called engine? What is? What does this even sound like? It sounds like crap. Like, my name's Matt's car. I'm gay. Hold on. Let me try drone. My name is Matt's car, and I'm gay. I'm super gay. I don't know what any of these do. Um. <laughs> Aphonic? What does aphonic mean? What does this sound like? Because I can kind of hear myself, but I also hear myself, so I can't. I can't hear what it sounds. Like. I don't know. I can't describe it. Uh, I have to do a test on these light. Oh God, that hurts! Fuck, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm fucking gay. Wait, oh. I can't tell where in the song this voice changer is, because it's clearly the Tetris theme. Yeah, we gotta um, just, like, talk normally. I think if you're trying to sing the Tetris theme, then it fucks it up. Well, no, I'm gay, and I suck a dick, and I, um, because I can, like, hear, because my microphone is feeding my normal voice back in, but I can also hear myself with the voice changer on. Sing, sing, I'm blue. I'm blue, da da dee da da die da da dee da 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 I have a blue house and a blue dog too. I have a blue cock and I eat lots of blue chew. Uh, <laughs> oh, say, can you see? Uh, wait, no, hold on. Um, I have a blue cock and a blue chew too. I got a big boner and I'm gonna fuck your dog. This is gay. Uh, <laughs> Enough. <laughs> I will, I will, I will play with that more and have it ready for next week with sound effects. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Yes, I'm here. Okay. All right. What's uh? So what's the banner? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's you and me as Movie Bob and Anita Sarkeesian or whatever her name is. No. But we're Megamind characters. No, that's dumb. Well, you got any better ideas, smart guy? Read the show notes. It's rootin' tootin' cowboy shootin', Steins Gate, I'm Not a Serial Killer, Freddy Got Fingered, 8mm, Toy Galaxy, Visions, Megamind, Double Shake, Selling Games and Manga, Arcade 1-Up. I don't know. I mean, we, we've done, like, the whole big forehead thing before. I was just imagining us with huge foreheads. 
Well, do you want me to draw me with as Mario with flood full of cum? But that's for the last episode. Is that no? Hold on, it's something else. I thought. No, it isn't. No, I swear to God. Um, no, it isn't. I'm gonna look this up. Well, I, all you have to do is scroll up. Picture of Bugs Bunny yelling at Elmer Fudd on the ground, but Matt is dressed as Mario with flood on his back, filled with cum. Oh, I'm fucking retarded. Yeah, you are retarded. I forgot I wrote that. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what the layer should be. <laughs> I'm I'm completely at a loss this time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I just imagine that Nick Cage face from uh, uh, what's that vampire movie he's in? A Vampire's Kiss. Yeah. That was like you know that was like the old school meme. <laughs> Like the, the a reaction face from like 15 years ago. Well, with his mouth like way open. No, that's from, <laughs> that's from Face Off. Oh, wait. No, I guess he does have his mouth open in that one, too. Let me you find it. You have to send it to me because I can't picture what you're yeah, talking Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Oh, oops. <laughs> I found it already. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, like, can can we be can we be movie Bob and and nostalgia chick? But we're both making that face. Uh, I mean, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's funny, but it'll be funny to me. It's funny to me, damn it. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Fucking um, picture of movie Bob and nostalgia chick, but we're making the Nick Cage face from Vampire's Kiss. And what's the title even? Oh Jesus! Uh... I am not a serial comer. <laughs> no. Uh, rootin', tootin', still, cowboy. still just a rat in a Nick Cage. No, <laughs> rootin, toot, re, reetin, teetin, cowboy, skeetin. <laughs> no. Uh, skeet shooter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We have we we're it's the it's the picture. We both have cum stains on our jeans. <laughs> I mean, I'm down for that if that's what you want to do. Fine, <laughs> yeah, you might as well. Outrun instead of outrun, it's outcome. Outcomers, outcomers. Yeah. Oh man, is that is that it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Excellent. Oh wait, I have a voice changer, but I can still I can do it better. Uh, fucking. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Fatality. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh...